mercy is the abundance of God's goodness, which keeps me from those things that I deserve and instead places me in his family through Christ to enjoy the full benefits of a son by adoption. It is a loving thing that God has done, even though sometimes we feel like there are things that happen in our lives that are hard, it's still all loving and it is merciful that God that God is even involved in our lives in the first place. The aspect of the gospel is something that has to show up in our day-to-day -day lives if we can't go through the week without reminders. Without God's mercy, there's no way that we can get through each day. Like, that is just a huge comfort to me as a believer to know that I'm not going to be judged for my sin, but that God, in His mercy, put it on Jesus. The thing that we're reminded of in Scripture is that um, music, one of its intended purposes is to strengthen our knowledge of who God is. And the truths that are represented in the text of these um, 13 tracks uh, are powerful truths. And here is love. His love is just vast. I mean, you can't comprehend it. It's um, something that really helps me understand the mercy and grace. So it all kind of ties in together. You, you see his love and then because of that love we have mercy and grace. The message will come through above and beyond all the technique and all of the proper singing and uh, the right note playing that the message of the gospel reaching people with the hope of the gospel and encouraging them that God is a God of love and a God of mercy. I hope the music um, just heightens our affections to the point where our loves are where they ought to be. Thinking about God as our foundation and how how great, how good He is to us. If you think about God as your foundation, that's an all-encompassing thing. If your your foundation has to be something that everything else can rest upon. My hope for this is that they will recount God's greatness and His goodness and His mighty acts to the children of men. Most notably that He has saved us for the praise of His glorious grace. This CD is going out to the churches and its purpose isn't to make us look good, but it's to glorify our God. Hopefully everything comes together to represent the Lord well, and to present Him as He is in a way that affects what we do, and how we think, and what our affections and loves are. The last track on the, on the CD is There is a Fountain, which is actually a reworked piano arrangement. Um, but it, it really needed to be in a choral, chorus and orchestra version, not just piano. And um, that's been especially meaningful to, I think, more than just me, even several of us. That's one of those old hymns that everybody's used to hearing. And so when you think, um, when you think about the piece, you just, you know, you hear it how maybe you've sung it in church choir or how you've sung it at church. But this is, this is beautiful. It's still the tune you'll recognize, but the setting of it is, is fantastic. There is the feeling of the fountain flowing in the orchestration. Um, Dr. Forrest has done a great job of making us feel that, that flowing, cleansing tide. And the harmonic language is fresh, but it is uh, perfectly appropriate. And the voices are giving parts to sing that are very satisfying and magnify the meanings and the joys that we have in the text. It just really goes through Christ's death and why, through His love, um, he was able to die for us. The final words to the album, which I think sums it up, I'll sing thy power to save, and that's what we wanted to communicate. And I, and I think that this does a great job. It's a tremendous blessing when I listen to it now, even though I know all the details that went into making it. Uh, the music still speaks to me, and that's what we wanted to accomplish with it. Part of, the, I guess, the fun of recording this is uh, has been working with Dan uh, Forrest and Warren Cook. Um, both of them are very much perfectionists. Um, and I think that aspect comes through on this CD. I like the variety. I like uh, the, the challenge of the different stylings that keeps the message coming forward, but it's fresh and it's vital and it's alive. And there have been a lot of times where we just sit back and 
you can't help but have a, a theological worship moment, even though you're in the midst of all the, the busyness. The arrangements that we chose were just so much fun to record, and it's very diversified. I think you will find, no matter who you are, there's something on here that is very compelling for you, and something that you can't live without hearing every now and then.